to admit that went up a lot easier than I thought it was going to. So I'll move the camera and I'll put in the where the doorway is and start putting up the boards on the side. All right, so since I started, I had to take this back apart. Um, I had two two by fours. I still do have two two by fours on there um, to for the doorway. Um, originally I had three and a half inch screws that would go from the first two by four into the frame for the side. Uh, they were too short with this two by four. So I took it off, got over to this one, had to take the door hinges off because that's what they uh, screw into. So I'm putting that back on. I put a couple slats up here for the, um, to hold up the tin. I've got the tin just laid up on there right now and I haven't uh, screwed it down yet. So what I'm going to do is start on the right wall and get that put in. It has a little bit of a lean back about a, it's about a quarter of an inch off. Um, if it was a house I was living in, I'd probably uh, change it. But I think what I'll do is probably as I put the boards on, I'll just give it a little tug forward and that should stiffen it up. Um, I'll probably at some point do a cross member, but the problem with that is I want to have racks. Actually, you know what? That's not a problem because I can mount them from here and then hang them from a chain. So never mind. I'll put a cross beam on there and that'll that'll help stiffen it up. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting boards on. Finishes up with the siding, and now I'm gonna. This tin is just setting on here, so I'm gonna take it off and then start putting the bats on. Um, I'm gonna put a piece of trim up along there, uh, probably just one inch, just to seal off that gap, and then put the uh, bats up against that. This is the uh, opening, by the way, for where the um, smokestack is going to come into the, the smokehouse itself. In the earlier part of the video, it talks about um, it's actually a dryer vent. So hopefully it'll hold up to the temperature. I don't see why it wouldn't metal. We'll find out.
So I have completed the smokehouse. Uh, took a little longer than I expected. Cutting uh, cutting your own lumber kind of is time consuming. Put tin on the roof uh, just a few minutes ago. A little bit of a rain last night. So coming around to the back side. Got the bats up. And give you the tour of the inside of the quick latch and that is the inside there's the door took me a little while to figure that out and then what I'm gonna do is put bars across the top here uh, to hang and then I'm gonna get some of those steel shelves um, like uh, shelving unit type shelves put in there to uh, put smaller stuff on there um, there's the hole on the side. Got a bunch of sycamore on the farm, so tried my hand at uh, texturing concrete. It seemed to turn out all right. So that is the whole project in a nutshell. Um, one more thing I'm gonna do is make a modification to the stove so that uh, the door closes a little bit tighter so I can have better fire control. So that is the whole project. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. and. Uh, I think the next video may be uh, putting something in there to uh, give some flavor to. Thanks for watching. Doing a test fire of the uh, smokehouse. Got the smoker, or the, I'm sorry, the stove hooked up. That is a um, exhaust for the uh, dryer. So it's one of those, it's like a periscoping. Um, let me open up the smokehouse, and as you can tell, we've got smoke. And I don't know if you can see it, there's the exhaust coming out. So, a good bit of smoke. Close it back up, just seasoning it right now. Got the latch done. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a problem with ventilation. I was worried that it might be too airtight, but it's not the case. The uh, stove seems to be working pretty good.